YouTube family, it's your girl Becky, and I am back. I know I've been MIA for about a week now, uh, but I'm back, and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. I actually have a couple Dollar Tree hauls for you. I'm going to break it up into sections. Um, today, I am going to do the um, food section of the Dollar Tree haul, because I do go to the Dollar Tree before I go to the regular grocery store. So I wanted to let you know what I found at the Dollar Tree before I went to Kroger. I still haven't gone grocery shopping yet, uh, but I did go shopping at the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to let you know what I found at the Dollar Tree. You guys gotta forgive this today. I am shooting this on my lunch break. Yes, I'm trying to shoot this without editing it. So if there's a couple of faux pas, that's because I'm not gonna edit it. All right, let's get into it. So I have, actually I have um, a couple of reviews for you also on a couple of drinks that um, were in my previous Dollar Tree hauls. So, well, let's get started with some repeat buys. Of course, you know, every time I go to the Dollar Tree, I pick up this Ocean Spray Cran Grape. So we've got that. I picked up multiple of these, probably like three of these. And then I picked up the Cran Apple as well. And I picked up about three of those as well. The others are down already on the drink shelf in the garage. Another repeat buy was this um, Elmhurst Oat Latte. This stuff, you guys, is so good. It is so very, very good. I love this so much. I went back and I got three of them. I have been trying to find them since I purchased them. And it, I do believe it's plant-based. It is with oat milk, 100% whole grain. Um, I wonder if that, I thought it was vegan. Oh, okay, here we go. It is no artificial flavors, kosher, dairy-free, gluten-free, and vegan. So it is vegan. And this is so good. If you ever thought you might not like it, it is really good. It is Flash Brew Oat Latte by Elmhurst. There are 12 fluid ounces in here, and it expires on July the 17th of 2023. But these will probably be gone before July even gets here. And I was lucky enough to find them this morning at a Dollar Tree that I went to because I've been looking and looking since I tried them and they all, you know, how they were in abundance before. Now they're all of a sudden out of stock. Isn't that how it happens? So like I said, I picked up three of these. So you can probably guess how my review is going to go on that later in, in, the, um, in the video. Got three of those. Also repeat by were these Idaho mashed potatoes. This is the 6.2 ounce. This is the larger bag for $1.25. I did price this in the regular grocery store and it was on sale two for three. So $1.50, so you're saving 25 cents. And this does not expire until uh, the 13th of April, 2024. I'm not a huge a mashed potato person, but my son loves mashed potatoes, so I get that kind of uh, stuff for him. And um, I think that's, oh, repeat buy, one more repeat buy, and that is the Brim's Cheddar Puffs. This right here is just as good as that name brand, you know what I'm saying, cheese puffs, I don't want to say it out loud, but I love these things. They're $1.25, I buy them. Um, not every time I go to the Dollar Tree, but when I run out. These are very, very good. It is the 7-ounce bag, and it expires June the 9th of 2023. Okay, so now we've got some new things. A couple of things, um, well, two things are not actually um, food items but they were in the bag. One of them is a, a kitchen item, but they were in this bag. And so I'm gonna go ahead and um, and let you know about those as well. So found these. Anna from Only In My Dreams hauled these, I wanna say last week or Monday. 
And um, I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta try them, I gotta try them. Now these are the mini apple pies made with real fruit. There is three two ounce pies in here. So it's three pies in here. They're two ounces each. Total, uh, I'm reading the back of this. That's why this is in front of me. Total of six ounces. They're individually wrapped. And um, yeah, they're made with real fruit. Oh, it says lightly glazed as well. Lightly glazed. So let's see. Let's see what they look like. They can't be too big if they're two ounces. Let's see what they look like. Okay. So truly small, small, see these? Sometimes the camera has a tendency to make things look larger. These are really small. They fit like the palm of my hand. So they're small, about the half of the size of a hostess pie. About half the size of a hostess pie. But that's okay, um, $1.25, and you get three of those in that box. Uh, I'm excited. I did not, they're by JJ's Bakery. Oh, the expiration date. Where's the expiration? Oh, they expire May the 19th of 2023. They have the cherry also because Anna also hauled the cherry, but my store only had the apple. So we'll wait until we can find the cherry. And also a new find for me. I have been trying to find this as well. So I am super excited. This is the Fresh Success Original Roasted Potato Blend. Um, or Roasted Potato Spice Blend. It is 1.5 ounces. And it says, wake up your fresh fruits and vegetables. So you can put this on fruits too. It says it's the original roasted potato seasoning mix. Now, it says uh, fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables. I'm not sure what kind of fruit you would put that on, but hey, uh, to each his own. It says just add the seasoning packet um, to whatever you're cooking. It says Concord Fresh Success. It is, let's see what it has in here. It has dehydrated, it has salt, dehydrated garlic, spices, paprika, soybean oil, uh, multidextrin, or tapi, uh, tapi, tapi, for real, tapioca is what it says, corn, um, dextrose, um, yeast, parsley, and natural flavor. It says um, not intended for raw consumption. So if it's not intended for raw consumption, how do you put this on fruit? It says, wake up your fresh fruits and vegetables. So I'm assuming it has to be a fruit that you cook. And I could be wrong, but the only fruit I know that you cook is maybe tomatoes, maybe roasted tomatoes. You can put this on, on roasted tomatoes. I'm sure there are other foods, um, things that I think are vegetables that are classified as fruits as well. And it just, it does say that it contains bioengineered food ingredients. Everything in moderation, you guys, everything in moderation. So I did find that and I picked up two of those because I'm excited to try those on some roasted potatoes. So we'll, I'll let you know how, how those taste. Um, actually the final food item that i have i'm looking around the final food item that i have this is really quick you guys final food item i have are these reese's puffs these are the reese's puffs cluster crunch i found these in my dollars you guys this is the family size it is one pound and 4.2 ounces, so 20.2 ounces. It is sweet and crunchy corn cereal. It says it's made with real Reese's peanut butter cups or real Reese's peanut butter. It is the, pl uh, the Puff Cluster Crunch. I don't know, you guys, this looks really good. I don't know if you can see that. This looks really, really good. So um, it's a General Mills cereal. And like I said, it is the family size. It expires. September the 4th of 2020. 
So there's plenty of time for you guys to eat this. If you have kids, I would try it. And um, I bought one box and then I got one box for my friend Rhonda. So that is it for the food items. Uh, the other items that I have, which are just two, uh, well, it's actually four, but two, three of them are the same thing, is I finally found this lemon container. You guys, I, ever since I saw this, I have been looking for this. This is plastic. And I know that um, a while back I said I was changing over my food storage containers to glass and I'm doing a really good job of that you know a little bit at the time because those things are expensive but I saw this and it is it just spring it just springs it just sings spring and summer to me so I wanted to pick this up I think it's really cute it is it doesn't say how large it is well I guess if I turned it the right side up and tried to read it instead of trying to read it upside down I might find what I'm looking for. It just says distributed by Greenbrier. It just says container and lid. It doesn't even say if it's dishwasher safe. My guess, no, it says hand wash only. So it is not dishwasher safe. That is fine. It comes with the lid. It is a really cute container and it's fairly large too. It's fairly large. So I like it. I was so excited about it. They had multiple of them, and um, I just picked up one. I just wanted one, so I picked that up. Also, finally, you guys, this has been on YouTube for so very long. I have not been able to find these, but I finally found the adult coloring books, the Beatles, and I got Elvis, because I love, okay. One thing most people do not know about me is that growing up, I loved Elvis. I love, 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 loved me some Elvis. Not so much the Beatles were, not so much the Beatles, but I like coloring them. I don't mind coloring them, but I loved Elvis. And then I got the classic movie coloring book. Now, this, <laughs> this book right here, I, you know, I, I, I'm not a scary movie kind of person. I don't think King Kong was scary at all. Uh, I am more of an uh, mystery adventure action kind of person. But this right here scares the H.E. Devil's hockey sticks out of me. This picture is so scary to me. I think um, I'm not going to color this picture. I could be just like really crazy. But this picture with the King Kong movie it's so scary to me. I'm like, that picture is so, it just looks very scary to me. So anywho, um, I did pick up this and I am excited about these coloring books. I think I'm going to keep the Elvis one and I'm going to keep uh, maybe the classic movie ones and then maybe I'll give this one away, the Beatles one. I don't know. Or maybe I'll keep all three of them and it, and it gives me a variety of things to color, to calm my nerves and to relieve some stress and to color something so i'm excited to find those things and you know that you guys that is it for my haul now before i end this a couple of things i wanted to give you some reviews on some drinks that i had this is the elmhurst oat latte matcha i had this this morning you guys and you know what it wasn't so bad now, initially, when I took this out of the container, because I keep these in the refrigerator, um, so I drink them cold. And this one, again, was just like the other oat drink, um, that latte that wasn't matcha, just a latte. It was also, um, well, it says here that it's no artificial flavors. It is kosher, dairy-free, gluten-free, and it's also vegan. So this right here, was okay when you first drink it out of the bottle it's not so good it's not so good i put a pump of my skinny syrup my caramel salted caramel skinny syrup in here absolutely fabulous just one pump that's it and so you know it may be okay for you right out of the bottle it was not for me and so i put a pump of the lot um skinny syrup in there and it was great so you can you know your choice of flavors mine happens to be salted caramel I would buy this again. Absolutely. You already heard what I thought about this. This thing right here. This right here. 
this is good. I've made an iced coffee. I put this latte over some ice and yeah, I took a couple of sips and before I knew it, it was gone. I'm like, what happened? What happened? So yeah, absolutely repeat bot. Um, I did do this also. This is the super coffee, positive energy. It is in the caramel waffle flavor. Now this right here, you guys, I think this has milk in it. Um, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. No, it says plant protein, MCT oil, plant-based, so it doesn't have milk in it. This, it was just okay. It was, it was just okay. Would I buy it again? Probably not. It was, it was just okay. Um, it wasn't, it was very thick. It left a filmy taste in my mouth. So it was almost as if once you drank this, you had to drink a glass of water to sort of get the coating that it left in your mouth out. So this was just okay. I would not buy it again, but it wasn't horrible. It was not horrible at all. Again, it was the Super Coffee Positive Energy. It is plant-based. It was in the Caramel Waffle. I have this also downstairs in the refrigerator that I have not drank and the cinnamon roll as well. So I'm gonna see if that one has the same effect or how I like that one. I have not drank that one yet. I've just drank these three. So um, yeah, so that's my review on these things. Absolute repeat buy. Yes, repeat buy, not so much a repeat buy, but was not bad. It was, it just was not for me. Um, so it didn't taste bad. It just, it was like really thick and filmy in my mouth. So there you have it. I want to thank you guys so much, so much, so much, so much for coming back. Thank you to my new subscribers. I saw that I had a couple new subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers. Welcome to being Becky 365. I am absolutely ecstatic that you are here. And um, also do not forget about the giveaway on this channel. We still have not hit the 250 subscriber. What is happening? We are so slow with getting um, subscribers. I don't know what else to do, you guys. So we're, 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 we're inching towards it. And so we're, we're, we're making our way, but we are not even close. We still have 200 more subscribers to go. And I know it can happen overnight. Here, I'm sharing. I've reached out to my Dollar Tree community on Facebook. Um, I've put us out there that way. So, um, you know, how do you get entered into the $25 gift card, give a uh, Dollar Tree gift card giveaway? Well, you just have to, one, like the video. So you got to thumbs up it. You have to subscribe. You have to make a comment and you have to, have to, have to share. So that is what I am asking. I don't think it's too much to ask. Thank you so much again for um, taking time out of your day to watch my video and spend a little bit of time with me to see what I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Hopefully you will find something in this haul that um, you didn't know the Dollar Tree had and or something that you were looking for. It's like, oh, I'll go to my Dollar Tree and see it, that it has that. And then um, that'll take you into the Dollar Tree as well. So again, thank you so much, you guys, for um, your time. Thank you for sharing your time with me. Um, have an amazing rest of the day and try to make every day a great day. You guys have a great one.